Hello, I'm Andy and I'm going to read to you a weekly horoscope from the 4th of March to the 10th of March. And this is for you coming from Cancer. So let's start with the 4th of March and it's not going to be a very good Sunday for you this 4th of March. It starts morning and afternoon with planets making you very controversial, the way you say things or do things, very unpredictable, very controversial, just a person who wants to not please anybody. That's the way the, this couple of planets want to make you behave. So why don't you be smart? You listen to me and tell yourself, I'll do the opposite. I'll be the nicest person on earth in the morning, afternoon period. And I'll confuse these planets and they will leave me alone. And I'll be able to get what I want, to please who I want. And to be in the position where I can get the advantage as well with whoever I am with. That way you'll make your morning, afternoon very productive on this Sunday the 4th. You can do that. Your horoscope is a plan. It's not carved in stone. You can change it. When you meet people like me who advise you this way, then you say, all right, I'm going to do it that way. And you will be astonished to see how you can get the best of the morning and afternoon on this very troubled, supposed to be troubled morning, afternoon period. Evening nightfall is really going to get worse, by the way. Worse in the sense that all this aggression is building up. Your temper is building up. And your words that you use and your actions that you use are all very provocative. Well, you've heard this from me. That's what the planets have been planned for you. Do the opposite. Be the kindest, the more, most polite. Let others have their way. Be supportive. Be appreciative. And who would ever want to be looking for trouble from you? So the planets will be very confused. They'll be in a daze and they'll leave you alone. And you can do that. It can be done. It's all through awareness that I'm creating for you. So you can make this Sunday wonderful by just being the nicest and most accommodating person possible. And you can do that. You're from cancer. You're a nice person. Okay. The 5th of March, very fast planets are there. So watch out. Some very fast news is waiting at your place of work or in business. You're going to get very busy very quickly. Be careful what you say, don't make promises that you can't keep. Be careful what you do because these fast planners will make you impatient, make you hasty, make you say to say and do things without thinking. Don't allow that to happen and stay away from arguments as well. If you can do all that, you will turn morning, afternoon to be very productive so that these planners can re re-represent themselves in a way of communication good for you and make you and say and do things which others like to hear and you will get all the cooperation to make your morning afternoon good in any area whether job whether business whether socializing evening nightfall period planets of ego are there they are not bad for you but when they are, when i connect them to these fast planets you tend to want to take the lead and want to be the first to be able to say this and do that no need for all of that because when you do this in the matter of speed, others will think that you're being very greedy or you're going to step over toes or you're being very over demanding for things. Take it easy. Let others take the lead in this evening and nightfall period. And you can meet very good business people or very important people who can help you as well. Give them the impression that you are just a nice person and not in any way arrogant and neither are you argumentative. And you will see you'll enjoy this evening nightfall period and even get lots of benefits from it. The 6th of March are planets that want to cause a rift between you and others. The way you say things perhaps, the way you do things perhaps. So try to be the nice person again. Don't allow your ego and don't want to say things just to be different on this 6th of March morning afternoon period. You need cooperation. So say and do things where others want to work with you. It's a working day or if you're in business, it's a business day. You need support. So rather than wanting to be very different and therefore isolate yourself, be the opposite, be part of a team and you will be able to achieve some good things done on the morning afternoon period. I like your evening nightfall excellently and you're going to be very lucky. And even if you're working late, you'll find fantastic solutions and you will just do everything right in the evening nightfall period. So work hard, show off your expertise, socialize, mix business and pleasure. There is business waiting, there is happiness waiting, there's sociability, there's enjoyment. 
So you need to mix all of these and you will get the benefits in many, many ways. It's a wonderful evening nightfall period. Now here comes 24 hours of wonderful news. That is the 7th of March, Wednesday. Starts in an excellent way. There's talk of holidays, there's talk of travel, there's talk of meeting people from other countries, contacting them, doing business with them. All these elements are there. And you will have a certain bit of a third eye gift, which means you'll have the feelings of being able to do the right thing and say the right thing. So make sure you communicate with whoever matters for you at your place of work or in business or just socialize with the people you love for lunchtime. A wonderful morning afternoon period with plenty of advantage given to you one way or another. Evening nightfall, may, I might say, is even better. Evening nightfall is when you can meet very powerful people or people who want to help you in one way or another, whether job-wise, business-wise, or just to be happy with you and be with you. Looking for a romance, this is a perfect 24 hours to try your luck. You're going to land something beautifully. Evening nightfall are very powerful planets who put you in a powerful position. So others look at your aura and they will say, this person has got something to deliver. So if you mix business and pleasure, the enjoyment part, the getting a contract or making good contacts or having people who can help you in your job, mix up all these things, you can have wonderful results. Well, now comes the 8th of March and it's the totally opposite. That's how a day can change. Morning, afternoon planets are very slow and very gloomy and very frustrating and they make you that way. All plans can change, all plans can be cancelled. Whoever wanted to help you a day before will not want to do it now or can't do it now. And you cannot outpace your planets. You cannot go faster than them because if you do, you'll be no man's land. You'll come back with nothing. And so go slow. Be patient. Wait for news to develop. Something bad can happen, I'm telling you. And the last thing you want is to stick your neck out. So don't be a sore thumb, be part of a team. Tell yourself, I need protection in the morning, afternoon. Things are going bad in one way or another, whether a job, whether in business, whether in personal affairs, whether anywhere. So be part of a team and you will not get the worst of it. That's the best way to be. Evening, nightfall now, very fast planners move in. And so when these fast planners move in, they make you behave very fast, very impulsively, basically, and say things impulsively, do things impulsively, cause accidents for others, cause accidents for yourself in many ways. Slow down. Now you have to slow down evening, nightfall period. Morning, afternoon, be patient. Nightfall period, slow down. And try to behave in a way where others don't find you controversial in any way. Try to be as basic and as showing other people of the good foundation in every area of your life that you have. Stability. That's what others want to see. And this planet wants to do the opposite. Wants to make you basically a very unstable person and a very non-conformist and a revolutionary. Oh, yes. So don't behave that way. You get a bad reputation on this 8th of March. 9th of March starts again very badly for you, morning, afternoon and a bit of the early evening as well. The temper planets are there and making you aggressive, say things aggressive, do things aggressive, step over toes, get what you want at any cost. This kind of a bull in a china shop, no good. Because people are not going to love you for it, neither will they like you for it. And they might even oppose what you're trying to get, yes. So why don't you just take the soft approach, that's all. Use words which are soft, tone of voice soft, body language which self. Go softly and you will be able to confuse all these planets who actually wanted you to act in a terror way. And when they can't and they look at you and they say, well, we gave up. All right, you do as you like and you will get the benefit of the morning afternoon period that way. You can do that. A horoscope is only a plan. It's a plan that can be changed. And when you hear things like that from me, you change the plan for that day. And you will see you come out of it very nicely, by the way. All right. Evening nightfall period, very fast planets. They are not against you, by the way. And these planets just move too fast. And so you might say things or do things and cause accidents for yourself or others. So go slow. Tell yourself, speak slowly, do slowly, act slowly. And these fast planets will be wondering now, how do we get to this person? And so they will leave you alone slowly. And when that happens, then you are in charge in the evening and nightfall period. 
you can meet business people or business minded people who can help you in job who can help you in areas of business so go slow with these people don't show you are over determined to get things and in a big rush go slow and you'll get you'll come back with this evening night for with something good and by the way don't argue the 10th of march saturday ego planets are there they are not against you but nobody likes an egoistic person so tell yourself all right and he says ego ego planets are there i'm going to do the opposite i'm going to let other people take charge let them do the planning on this saturday i will just be the follower and i will sit back and relax and enjoy myself let others do all the hard work why don't you think this way and you'll be able to have a wonderful morning afternoon sunday that way you will never be blamed because these kind of leading uh, planets if you do things they can make you do something wrong or say something wrong and then people blame you so let others take charge and you'll have a wonderful morning afternoon and evening nightfall period are planets that also are related to the ego they make you say and do things that cause a rift between you and others and they make you want to be very different and so try not to do all that it's a bit of a mixed up day i won't call it a very good day at all i won't call it a very bad day either this saturday the 10th so try to manage the evening nightfall by being very receptive and supportive and appreciative and this planet will just surrender and says all right fine you're doing the right thing go ahead and you may get a lot of advantage evening nightfall period and meet some people who could be very interested in you for one thing or another well that's the week that was i'm already skyping and i'm charging usd 50 for a 90 minute skype session and that's based on your date of birth and your time of birth and looking at your palms and even face reading you while i skype with you and all that for usd 50 i will tackle your next 7 or 8 years in all areas of your life and so go to facebook go to skype leave me a message or send me an email and let's get down to it all this information is if you just scroll down a bit from the video you will see this information okay well that's the week for you and i wish you the best of luck thank you bye